Michael Turner was a comic book artist uh, who started working in the 1990s. I think he was a protege of Mark Silvestri and uh, with his Witchblade comics he uh, gained instant stardom. He has a very recognizable style. He draws gorgeous women. His Batman and Superman are also very recognizable. I really like the double lines he uses. Kind of reminds me of Will Spertacio, but uh, he has his own unique way of doing it and uh, yeah. Michael Turner actually passed away at a very young age in 2009, but I'm so thankful for his work. And um, today I'm going to use some of his images as inspiration to draw a typical Michael Turner beautiful face. So first I collected these faces. I didn't purposely do this, but I recognized already that uh, they have a lot of common points. There's the shoulder, which is a little bit higher, kind of looking down, and the eyes are very typical. I started with the eyes, perhaps the most difficult part. And um, yeah, if you see these in the collection right here, you see that they have a similar shape. And also playing with the light is very important. Almost every artist draws a little light, um, a little light reflection in the pupil. But here also, uh, the bottom of the iris is very light to the point where the line doesn't even meet. So I'm going to recreate that too. And then very long eyelashes, um, top, side and bottom. Since this is just learning still, I just duplicated the eye and reversed it and then drew the eyebrows. For the nose and mouth, I made the underlying structure first, also for the lips. Uh, very simple nose lines, so only a few stripes actually. The lips are tricky. Um, I generally have a little trouble with female lips, so gotta, this is very good practice for me. The corners of the mouth, like they don't really meet each other, they just kind of like overlap. And the bottom lip is thicker than I kind of would think to draw it. Then the shape of the head, very sharp jaw lines. And um, yeah, that perspective, kind of looking, the face is quite forward, but um, the upper body is shown at an angle, which means the that left shoulder is up, right shoulder down. So yeah, this is kind of like how I would do a, a mix of all of these faces. But this is me basically just looking at Michael Turner and then drawing this. So I want to know if I can actually draw this myself. So I started again from scratch without looking at the reference drawings. And the lips and nose were pretty easy. Also the pose of the body. And I thought it would be cool if, if the, the woman would be in water. So then I can draw like water ripples. And then, yeah, when I got to the eyes, that was the tricky part. I spent, I think, two hours editing, redrawing those eyes. A very good technique is, uh, in Photoshop, it's very easy, is to flip your canvas horizontally. I actually saw Mark Silvestri do that in person in, I don't know, the late 90s when he came to a comic convention in the Netherlands. And, um, the way he did it, he, is, he drew a face. He was doing a commission for somebody. He was drawing a beautiful face and then he would hold up the paper to the light and look at it from the back so he could see the reverse image. And of course he'd have to uh, um, erase and uh, yeah, alter it. And he kept doing that. And I learned that there, but I'm thank God for Photoshop because then we can actually keep drawing in that reflective, in the flipped, we can keep drawing in the flipped version and then just keep flipping it every few minutes and then you really see like the eyes, if they're off or not. And yeah, like uh, 
fixing the eyes, the irises a little bit more. But yeah, I think that's it. So on to the inking. I made sure to get the shape of the eyes correct first. My setting of my digital pen allows for thin to thick and thin lines, but not that big of a difference. So I added some more thickness to some parts of the lines. Added the white part over the eyes, like I was explaining before. And for today, just the black and white to speed up the process a bit. And here we go, finished. That was good practice and I definitely learned some stuff. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like stuff like this, uh, like and subscribe so you don't miss the next videos. See you.